the most unique defenses have been able to get after you up front and then really cover on the back end. And when the back end's covering like they're covering and our two big inside linebackers can really get sideline to sideline and get in the windows, you know, this defense has obviously a really good opportunity to be a top defense in the league. But, you know, I don't want to crown anybody before we get to the season, but the expectations are definitely high. Green Bay's defense has turned pressure up front into points, thanks in very large part to cornerback Rasul Douglas. Hit as he throws left side, it's yes! intercepted. Down yes! the right sidelines, Douglas to the house, touchdown! He has such a great feel, you know, he's, he's such an instinctual and aware football player. I think you could put Sewell anywhere on the back end and he'd just, just find a way. I love 29. He is a hell of a player and getting him back was a huge boost for our defense. Credit also goes to linebacker Rashawn Gary. His ability to collapse the pocket reached a whole new level last season. And he's taken down Rashawn Gary. But capturing the attention of his defensive coordinator, Gary's consistency. You know exactly what you're going to get out of Rashawn Gary every single day. And then it becomes a habit. His demeanor and his style and the way he plays every single day. And I think that when you practice like that, it translates to games. As the Packers return to Kansas City, Rashawn and company are ready to turn the page on a new chapter of dominant team first defense. That's the thing that I'm most proud of with this group is that they work and they grind and they compete every single day. And at the end of the day, all they want to do is win. The individual accolades and all those things are great, but we've got a, a really selfless group that just wants to play good defense and win football games. And that's the thing that's awesome to me.